Hey right, guys, what's going on today? Uh, got something I got in the mail the other day. Some uh, SK rifle match. I've never shot this before, but I hear this is uh, one of the premium ones. I got this one and I got the uh, SK Standard Plus. If anybody's interested, they have these on Optics Planet for $9.99 a box. I know that's still expensive, but and it's not too bad nowadays. It's coming down a little bit, but I've set up some uh, targets 50 yards, and I got my uh, Christensen arms. I just got here, but I'm going to uh, probably file the barrel up. I'll shoot some standard, probably about 15 rounds to file the barrel up a little bit. There are the targets right there, but I'm gonna try to file the barrel up a little bit and then I got the tripod set up down there and I'm gonna shoot groups of five and see how they do. All right, here's my setup. Finally put the sunshade on the scope. I don't know if that's gonna help or not, but uh, I shot 10 rounds to file the barrel up and uh, I'm gonna try that next, but uh, go set the uh, camera up on the tripod the uh, first 10 shots were pretty good. I mean, I don't, I've never had an issue with the Christensen arms as far as the barrel being cold. It usually shoots pretty good, pretty consistent right from the beginning. But it is a little breezy out here. If you can see these right there. Plus my uh, tripod blew over. So, I mean, it's not too bad. I've seen it worse, but uh, here was my warm-up shots, first ones. These are uh, one-inch boxes, so it's under an inch, and this one was good. I just got a Sharpie and drew a black mark right there, but uh, man, that right there, I don't think the SK right there is gonna be able to beat that. But uh, I'm gonna shoot two groups of five, uh, probably shoot this one and shoot this one and see how it does. All right, uh, two shots of five. Uh, tried the standard SK Plus first. First one wasn't too great, but uh, right there. But then the second group was pretty awesome. That's a, uh, say about a half an inch group, maybe a little bit more. But uh, anyway, that's the first two. So I'm gonna shoot the bottom two with the uh, I'm gonna probably try the uh, SK, the rifle match on the bottom two and see how it does. All right, uh, those little uh, mayflies are bugging the crap out of me. They will bite the shit out of you. Uh, they're everywhere. But anyway, the SK rifle match right here. Seems like both of them shot better on the second group. But here's the first one. Five shots, which nothing to write home about. But the second one, if it wasn't for that one right there, that would basically be one hole. So... That's the best one with the match, the rifle match, and well, that's that's actually which one did I do? Oh yeah, right here. This is the standard plus, the best five shot group, and here's the rifle match, the best five shot group. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the standard plus. I think the barrel should be really good and filed right now. And I'm going to do two five-shot groups with the standard plus here, and then I'll go down to the bottom and do two with the rifle match. Uh, 
Okay, uh, here's the SK Standard Plus again. I had a uh, big time flyer on the first one. I thought my scope was off, but those four were nice, but that might have been the wind. But anyway, on the second group, now this bottom one right here, I, rem I did pull this one, but other than that, it's got two in the same hole, then two in the same hole right there, and then that one. And uh, so that's pretty good. Now I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna go back to the uh, the rifle match and I'm gonna do two shots of five with the rifle match. And at the end, hopefully maybe one of them will show that it's better than the other out of my rifle, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, uh, SK rifle match. How's that right there? The top one wasn't, it seems like the first five shot group I don't get is all over the place. That's a, probably over an inch, but then the second one is a really, about a quarter of an inch. And like over here, the second one, and then the second one, so. This is the rifle match, 50 yards. That's a five shot group. And I'm gonna go back to the standard plus and I'll hit the black Sharpie mark in that one. And uh, just so I can get more consistency and see how it does. All right, SK Plus, there's the first group right here. And the second one, man, that one right there, one of those damn mayflies, there was two times I was getting ready to pull the trigger and he started buzzing around my head and then one time he landed on my arm. So I'm sure that was me. But the second shots out of these, with this ammo is like, it's, it's definitely, a high quality ammo i mean i'll i'll be, pay ten dollars a box for this all day long but uh anyway i'm gonna try the rifle match on uh these two right here and see if i get the same results Okay, I didn't bring the box down here, but that was the uh, rifle match. And uh, and the first groups aren't that good, but the second one always seems to be well under an inch. But that's the second group there, the second group there, the second group there, and there's the second group. And uh, even right there, that was the second group when I was warming up with the uh, standard velocity. So, anyway, Christensen Arms likes the SK uh, rifle match and the, uh, the other kind. It seems like it works pretty good. Anyway, I got two more right here. I'm going to probably do two more. What I'll probably do is try the standard velocity on these two and see how it stacks up against the, uh, the high quality premium stuff. All right, shot the standard velocity right here. That was the first one, I think. So that's 
it's kind of windy now, but the second group is always a little bit better. The second group was probably a little under an inch. But uh, definitely the premium ammos, ammos are better. I've tried the, uh, the Ely 10X before, and I've tried some other SKs. I can't remember. I think I tried the Biathlon, and I've tried the SK Long Range. But uh, I think I like the, uh, the SK Plus and the Rifle Match a little bit better. But uh, everybody keeps telling me that I need to try some of that uh, Center X. I think it's Lapua Center X. But uh, that stuff's supposed to be like the, the top of the heap. Anyway, let me go up there and show you uh, some of the uh, the bullets from the SK. They have a lot, they're a lot shinier and they just look nicer than your uh, uh, CCI. They have a really pretty thick coat coating of, I don't know if it's wax or oil or whatever it is. Oh, and I'll show you. A little hot out here today. Feels like it's about 90, but uh, here's my setup. And that is a pretty rifle. And I think it looks cool with the sunshade on it. But this rifle will definitely shoot. Let me pull one of these out real quick. If I can do it with one hand, here we go. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, they have a, uh, just an oily, residue on them but i only have uh 20 left in each box so i think i shot 30 of each so that should be pretty good consistency but it's, it's definitely good ammo anyway guys y'all take it easy later all right i shot two more groups of five it was the last two uh, spots on the targets but definitely once the barrel gets warmed up that's why the second five Seem like they always do better. This was the, uh, the SK Plus, and I had some some wild ones that time, but I might just be getting tired. But here's the second one with the uh, rifle match. The second group is always tight. I guess the barrel's warm, but uh, here's all of them. Right here, there's some good ones in there, and there's some not so good ones in there. Let's see if I can find the best. The best one is probably. That's probably one of the best ones right there. I can't remember if that was the rifle match or the plus, but I think they're both about the same. Here was a really good group right here. And uh, there was a tight one right there. And there was the first one when I was warming up with the CCI. But, uh, anyway, that's it.